Earth and our solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago. The sun formed from a cloud of gas condensing on itself over its own gravity. Gravity is the strongest force in our universe. Gravity would start pulling all these tiny bits of dust together. The dust would clump together with no other major forces acting on them, pull towards each other, making larger and larger concretions of materials out in space. There'll be dust and metals all starting to stick together, and those not becoming part of our sun would end up in a large rotating disk around it. Within this disk, more collisions would occur, forming small planetesimals. Maybe a hundred or so of these small planetesimals would eventually collide into each other and make the planets as we know them today. There was to be one major event on our own planet that would make life possible about to happen within the first half billion years of our planet's life. The heat of crashing impacts caused our surface to become molten. We don't know how long it took for our Earth's surface to cool down enough to solidify. It probably didn't take very long on a geologic scale. Remember, geologic timescales are used, measured in tens or hundreds of billions of years, but probably not terribly long, geologically speaking, our surface cool. But then, about four billion years ago, we were about to have another major impact. A planet about the size of Mars crashed into Earth under the Theia hypothesis. The hypothesis is a pretty well-supported idea of how our Earth got a much larger than average core for a planet our size and the formation of our abnormally large moon. This animation that I made will show the latest thoughts on how this occurred. The size of the cores of these two planetesimals are only approximate because of the limitations of the software that I was using. But it gives the idea of first the planets crashing into each other about 4 billion years ago. It shows the cores of the two planets, these iron cores, merging together in the one larger planet, which would become Earth. Over time, the debris cast out from the collision, which was circling the Earth, was pulled together by gravity, forming our moon. Our moon is mainly rock and has very little iron. Now, as a result, we have this strong and powerful iron core, and it is rotating just like our planet is. The rotation of our iron core acts as a dynamo. Its rotation causes a magnetic field to build up. This magnetic field has been extremely beneficial to us. We would not be here without it because it blocks many forms of radiation, including the solar and cosmic radiation, which we are constantly bombarded by. Without this, the sun would have easily been able to blast away most of our atmosphere, and we would be a planet much like Mars. Very little atmosphere and very little protecting it from the solar radiation. Our planet ended up with a much larger iron core than it otherwise would have had. They had crashed into us. We absorbed the core of that planet. All that iron, molten iron, that is still hot underground today. It drives the plate tectonics that causes changes on our globe. And it also spins relative to the spin of our Earth, causing a magnetic field to develop. This magnetic field is really important. Magnetic fields are very good at blocking radiation. And much of the extreme radiation that comes from our sun is blocked by this magnetic field. Otherwise, life on land would not be possible at all. Mars also has an iron core, but no plate tectonics. We think that this is because its iron core, which was much smaller than ours, had time to cool off. And without the heat, it can't cause hot rock to come up towards the upper layers. And so you have no plate tectonic, no significant outgassing, and no magnetic field. Without this magnetic field, the solar radiation from our sun was able to tear away its atmosphere. And we think that in perhaps the first billion years, Mars might have been able to support life, but now we consider it to be a dead planet 
with a solidified iron core. But we believe Thea was the happy accident that made life possible on Earth. Thea, Mars-sized originally, crashed into Earth. The collision caused its iron core to sink deep into our planet, greatly increasing the size of our core and enormous amounts of heat in the collision itself, giving us a hot planet, hot on the inside, that still supports life today. So we can thank our very existence to the Theia impact, which is hypothesized to have occurred within the first five or 600 million years of our Earth's history. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you now understand the giant impact theory and how Theia makes life possible for us on Earth. Go Earth Science!